after the age of 30 will know only by reading history books. This is the Dumont Television Network. Dumont wants America's fourth network, the dream of inventor, engineer, and entrepreneur, Alan B. Dumont. His New York flagship station, WABD, even carried his initials. Dumont was that kind of a man, in control, simultaneously building a TV broadcast system and the TV sets to receive his shows. Rocky King, Detective, starring Roscoe Carnes as Rocky King. The Admiral Broadway Review, brought to you by your Admiral dealer. Welcome to Studio 57, presented by the H.J. Hines Company. It was the fourth network, which is a term that you hear about a lot now. Uh, in the early part of television, when there was CBS, ABC, and uh, NBC, uh, Dumont was uh, very much of an experiment. Dumont had actually begun testing years before signing on the network. He telecast a variety of programs to New York audiences, or at least to the few people who had sets as early as 1942. And beginning November 1948, daytime operations beamed beyond just Manhattan, making Dumont a full-fledged but small network. They tried to reach audiences that the other networks weren't reaching. Uh, they did some very good and experimental daytime programming trying to reach children and women. Stand by for Captain Video! And here's Video Rangers! Captain Video was the first uh, the television space show. And again, a, a storyline, uh, the camera work was... Uh, new, primitive is perhaps a way to describe it. Gracious Captain, this is a very difficult situation to be in. Difficult? It's an impossible situation. Well, they were the first to broadcast uh, professional baseball, uh, basketball, the first to, pro uh, to broadcast professional football. And they did it because it was available and they needed to fill the time. They were, uh, they put the Army McCarthy hearings on television uh, because they had the time uh, they couldn't afford expensive productions, and they found an audience. And they did it with innovation, well-planned productions, and technique that was ahead of its time. Hello, Inspector King. Morning, Inspector. I'm at the home of Mrs. Pauline Drew. Dumont offered a variety of programming, from musical reviews to panel quizzes. Down you go, America's brightest television game. And here is your master of ceremonies, nationally famous wit and author, Dr. Bergen Evans. Boxing and wrestling matches, or programs about them were popular, along with a puppet show starring... Johnny Jupiter, a human, more or less. Major Domo, chief of the robot, and Reject, the factory rejected robot who was able to appear and disappear at will. Jackie Gleason, Al Hodge, Roscoe Carnes, and Wright King were among the favorites, but perhaps the most notable personality on Dumont. Ladies and gentlemen, Bishop Sheen. Uh, everybody knows that uh, Mr. Burl was Mr. Television, and it was, you know, what do you put up against Burl, who was getting an 80% share? And they experimented. They put up Bishop, Bishop Fulton Sheen, who turned out to be the only one who really gave a girl any kind of a run for, for, for an audience. Competition from the three major networks, combined with other economic factors, spelled the end for Dumont. But in terms of what the network added to the development of television in the United States? I think it's the experimental quality of Dumont uh, that is truly its legacy. Bye now, and God love you. That's what television was like back in the 40s and 50s. Now for the entertainment news of the week as we show it in the... ...puppet show on television. The program aired on experimental station W3XK, Wheaton, Maryland, in, are you ready for this, 1931. Now we can't show you what it looked like. If there ever was footage, it's been long lost. But what we can do is celebrate the early highlights of puppetry on TV. Say, kids, what time is it? <laughs> It was Howdy Doody time for 13 years, 1947 through 59. TV sets across the country lit up with music, fun, and puppetry. Oh!